Hello, and welcome to the first instructional video on the Mississippi Arts Commission's new e-grant system. Today, we'll be walking you through how to access our new system and how to create a new account. We encourage you to access the system by first visiting Mac's website. This will allow you to review the criteria that is required for the specific grant request before accessing the online system. Once you are at the main Mac website, arts.ms.gov, you will simply click on the Grants tab. There you will choose between grants for individuals and grants for organizations. For this specific tutorial, we will be selecting grants for individuals. Scroll down to Artist Mini Grants and select Learn More. This will take you to a page dedicated to the mini grant program for individuals. Please carefully review the overview of the mini grant program, including any upcoming deadlines. You will click on the plus sign to easily expand each section. Please expand and review the following. Eligible projects, who may apply, review criteria, work samples, and grant payments. Finally, once you have reviewed the guidelines, you can access the online grant system by clicking on How to Apply. You can access the e-grant system in several ways. You can click on e-grant or select Apply Here. Alternatively, you can directly access the e-grant system at www.grantinterface.com slash home slash log on question mark URL KEY equal sign M I S S A R T S. We ask that you please bookmark this address for future access of the online e grant system. Now you are looking at the login page of Max e grant online system. From this page, you can also click on the Mac logo to be redirected to Mac's website. First, you want to create a new account. Please note that with this new system, everyone must create a new account. This site does not recognize any previous applicants. Please also be sure to read the directions in the gray box. Now we will walk you through the steps for creating a new account. From this page, you will follow the instructions listed. Please note that using the browser's back button will delete your information. You will notice there are four sections at the bottom of the page. When you finish the first section, which opened automatically, you will click on Next in the blue box at the bottom right. The Next box will expand for you so that you can continue adding your information. You must complete this page before moving to the next page. You will see an asterisk which indicates that a field of information is required. For this tutorial, we will use individual artists as our first example. You will know if you are applying as an individual there are some items that you will skip in this first section. We will complete the pertinent information as it relates to the grant seeker. All related fields must be completed before moving on to the next page. In this section you will enter your information or you can also choose to copy address from organization and it will populate any repeated fields. Click Next when finished. This section determines your status as an individual or organization representative. Simply select which one applies to you. While we are creating an account for this tutorial as an individual, you will note that if you are applying as an organization, organizations must have an authorizing official's approval and that person must have a separate email contact. If you are applying as an individual, please use the term project director in the business title required box. Once this selection section is complete, you will click on the Next button. Here you will create and confirm a password according to the rules listed. Something to note, your login will always be your email address. The eGrant system will only recognize one email address for an artist or project director. If you are working with multiple organizations, 
or you are an artist applying that needs access to another email address, we encourage you to set one up for the purpose of managing the grant application, which you can easily do through services like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or AOL. Once you complete this section, you will select Create an Account and be ready to apply through Mac's new online e-grant system.